All right, guys, what is going on? Um, this is going to be the official kind of recap of the first ever crypto New York City crypto head meetup. Uh, this is the night of, actually. I just got back from the train ride from the city. And man, that shit, it, it was beautiful, guys. Um, it pretty much started off with me kind of just taking the train down, uh, you know, the Metro North. I got there like about, actually, I got there only like five minutes early. And pretty much right at one o'clock, which is when it started, uh, one individual showed up. Shouts out to you, my brother. Um, I, I don't want to kind of start giving names and stuff like that because I know some people, you know, some I don't know if some people want to be named or not. But it was amazing. So we out here right now. We're in full effect uh, over here in Washington Square Park. I'm not going to show everyone's face because I know some people don't really want to be shown. But uh, all the people behind me right now are part of the uh, crypto event that we're currently going on. Um, a great turnout. I think we have like 15 people, I think, show up. Um, but this is definitely going to happen again for sure. The turnout was great. I was hoping for there to at least be five people. Uh, <laughs> and it turned out being like 15 or 20 or something like that. Uh, so the turnout was great. Like People were kind of trickling in slowly. Like one or two people would come in every, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, we had great conversation, man. You know, like we ended up talking about ETH, Solana, uh, shit coins, EIPs, DAOs, like pretty much anything you could think of in terms of speaking to another individual about crypto is, is pretty much, it's like a conversation on Discord, but in person. And I say this because I think most people don't have in-person conversations about crypto. Most conversations about crypto are most likely online. Uh, and that's one of the biggest feedback I got from the people that came. And again, all of them were dope individuals. Um, and we were all able to connect. But the main thing that they were saying was that they loved the fact that I was able to organize an event like this because um, there's, no, there's none other in the city, apparently. Like, there are no other events where people can network and get together and talk crypto. And that's why I was so glad, and that, that's honestly what kind of, just bro, almost brought tears to my eyes, that we were able to kind of get this thing set up, and people were able to come. And mind you, it was raining today. This was last minute. Like, I, I literally announced this a week and a half ago, and this is literally a day before July 4th, right? A major holiday. So this was like the worst case scenario when people showed up. And I don't know, it's nuts. And what really got me was when I was able to step back like an hour and a half in, I was able to step back and look, and everyone was just talking to each other, networking, exchanging like Twitters or, you know, phone numbers or whatever. And like that, that's, that was beautiful, bro. Like, it's so cool to be able to kind of do something like this. And again, this is all thanks to you guys, uh, the people who came at the end of the day, right? All I am is a vessel, um, like a way for everyone to interact. And that, that's kind of what, what I love. I love seeing people network, meet each other, talk crypto. And it was just such an amazing feeling. I've never, I've honestly never had, I've never been to something like this, actually. Because um, I know one, an, another feedback that we had, too, was that most events that do happen, they're usually crypto-specific, like a Bitcoin event or an Ethereum an event. And if you go there and you talk about another coin, they don't really like it. But all this shit was, like, literally, <laughs> come, talk whatever crypto you want to talk about. Listen, listen, fucking pitch us on your crypto if you, if you like it enough, you know? Um, and that, that's what I loved about it so much. So there was that. Uh, we do have plans for a future event. I got, again, we got so much feedback in terms of people wanted this to happen again. They were like, oh, yeah, when's the next one? And I'm thinking, I, I, I'm going to see, I'm thinking if we, do, if we do do it multiple times, it'll probably be like a monthly thing, maybe. Um, and I want to say it's going to be in the same place, like Washington Square Park in a park somewhere outside. We're able to talk, be outdoors, converse. Um, again, I, I, one of my biggest things is being able to, like, like cater to people. Like I love the idea of having some music, maybe in the background, uh, maybe providing some sort of food or drinks. Um, you know, don't expect any of that stuff though, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, all that stuff takes money and you know, money that I don't have. But we'll see, who knows, again, who knows, maybe we get a little sponsor. Gemini was good, you know, you know, Ave, Sushi, so Uniswap, who knows, bro. Um, but I would expect it to be something similar, um, most likely. And also, I was able to actually to give out uh, NFTs, like little PO-apps, actually, to, to everyone who came. So, um, you know, you get that as well if you come. Uh, the next one is probably going to be similar. I'll probably make an NFT for it as well. Just, again, just an overall event to meet, communicate, and talk crypto. I think that's what people need. And especially with how much of a love people have for crypto, like, this stuff is needed. Like, in-person interaction. So... That's, that's that with maybe any future events. Obviously, you guys will know 
I'll post it here on the channel or follow me on Twitter as well. You'll definitely know if I end up doing another one there. And uh, something else I wanted to do actually, if in any future ones, is do almost like a little field trip. And they'll hear me out here. After the event, um, I mean, some of my friends and I, uh, you know, I know like personally from college and stuff, you know, they came and we ended up going to get some halal food or some stuff. But after that, we went to an NFT gallery, literally a physical NFT gallery in the city. I'll put up, I'll put up a little video real here real quick so you can see what it looked like. And it was dope. You know, um, I think it's the only physical one apparently in the city right now. We're talking to the person in the front. They had like a huge wall of crypto punks that you could like see. Um, it was so cool, bro. <laughs> so, so cool. So I think it would be really cool to have everyone meet, right? We kind of meet up, talk about maybe an hour, two hours. And then from there, maybe we just like kind of, we walk as like an entire group to like, and like the NFT gallery or we go to another spot that's maybe has something, something to do with crypto. Like, it, it, I don't know, I love that idea of like kind of traveling as a unit together, you know, the crypto heads. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And I should say, I almost forgot. The event was from one to three. We ended up staying there, it's like almost four o'clock. So again, people, people, you know, they got to get this stuff off their chest. They love talking crypto, man. And it was, it was a, be it was a beautiful sight to see, man. I was, I was honestly pretty nervous uh, coming up, like coming up to the event uh, before it happened. And you know, that, you know, that's, that's with, ever, that's with anything that I do personally. Like, you know, I'm always concerned with how it's going to perform. How are people going to like it? Is anyone going to show up? Um, but this literally could not have gone any more beautifully. And I have to thank everyone that came through. Like, again, this shit happened because of you guys, not because of me. It's easy to say, hey, we're going to meet up here, X, Y, and Z, and just put and make some marketing stuff for it, right? That's all I did. Um, the real value comes from the people that came and the connections that we made from it. Like, I, I learned a whole bunch about, about new stuff in crypto, about different things that we can do, and all that stuff because of the people that came. Um, and I have so much stuff in my head right now in terms of the future of this and kind of how, how we're going to do things, but I definitely want to make it a, like a monthly thing. Um, just so we can talk, man. You know, people like to talk <laughs> as you can obviously see. Uh, but with that being said, that's mainly it. Uh, again, obviously again, thank you guys for anyone who, who came through. Uh, if you aren't from New York, I apologize. We're going to do something hopefully in the future, um, for any other maybe area, uh, Again, all, all this comes down to just money in general. Like, I can't afford to travel to Miami. I think some of y'all said that in the post. Uh, you know, unfortunately, um, I want to go to as many events as possible, and I would, like, I would love to host as many events as I possibly can. But, you know, I'm only one individual um, with, again, a limited amount of money. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Who knows? But if you can make it out, if you're in New York City, if you're in the Tri-State area, Next time we have an event, definitely come through, man. It's it was so dope. I had some people hit me, even hit me up afterwards, and they're like, "Oh shit, I, I should have went. I didn't even realize you were doing something like this." I'm like, of course, bro. We got to do something like this. <laughs> oh, before I go, God, I keep on saying before I go. You see this shirt I'm wearing, bro? So, homie and I, keeping it low key, but homie and I starting some stuff. So you know, we might be selling some cool ass tees, bro. All right, some dope ass tees. Stay tuned, alright? That's all I'm going to say. I don't, I don't even think I was even supposed to say that, but stay tuned, alright? That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to see you on the next one, alright? Peace.